Hey, so this is a special invitation from me, and I did mention it a little bit yesterday. Um, you've received an email from me about it as well, um, and it's something that's very near and dear to my heart. It is something that a lot of people had asked me to create, um, and and it's special to me. So I hope that you'll um, see what I have to, to share with you. So... This is um, a comic strip, a Pickles comic strip that I recently came across, and it reminds me a lot of why I created the Stitch Society membership. So Pickles is a daily and Sunday comic strip. Um, it is by Brian Crane, and it focuses on a retired couple in their 70s um, named Earl and Opal Pickles. So does anyone else have someone in their life who pretends that they're interested like Earl does with Opal's crafts? And if you can't read um, the print on the screen, um, Earl is asking Opal, what are you knitting? And she answers a scarf. And he says, oh, how do you do that without even looking? And she responds, um, she says, are you really interested in how I do it? And he says, no, but I'm pretending I'm interested. Isn't that worth something? So if anyone has anyone like that in their life, um, you can uh, share that. So I built um, the Stitch Society and I, it, it, I was at a point where I was wondering um, and I was feeling like I had been knitting and crocheting without a true sense of community over the last few years. And I felt like I was missing the companionship of like-minded friends to connect with people who really get it, who understand why we're so passionate about our crafts. And some of us, and myself included, don't have a lot of, you know, in-person friends that really understand. Um, and as wonderful and supportive as our spouses and our families might be, if they're not crafters, if they're not knitters or crocheters, they really just don't get it. Um, and so this feeling of not wanting to knit and crochet alone made me wonder, what if I created a warm and welcoming membership? And what if I filled it with others, with other knitters and crocheters who feel just like I do? And that's why I do these, you know, different events to build community, because community is such an important part of our lives. A place where we, we could connect with others from the comfort of our homes, in our favorite comfy chair, in our most comfortable clothes, a place where I could channel my love for teaching and my love for helping other crafters. And what if this helped me with my own passion project, with creating more low vision and screen reader accessible patterns to help those who struggle with their vision but still love their crafting time? I believe we have some Stitch Society members here with us today. So if you're here, friends, please say hi to everyone. Um, and so this is my invitation to you to join the Stitch Society membership, to be part of this warm and welcoming community of like-minded knitters and crocheters. I don't feel alone while you are knitting and crocheting. Um, and so I wanted to share a little bit about what is included in the membership. Um, uh, <laughs> some lovely comments I'll share with, uh, with you all too. Um, so Anna said, I froze, but I think I'm back. Um, Anna shared, yes, her husband pretends just like Earl and Kathy says, hi. And Anna says, that is so true. I'm really enjoying being part of this group of the membership. Um, and Susie says, hi. <laughs> So I'm so thrilled that, that you all are, um, are here with me. So each month you'll be treated to a free pattern from me. So as a Stitch Society member, you'll either get a brand new design or you can have your choice of one from my collection. And my patterns um, currently are at um, $8 per, um, per pattern. So that's an $8 value. We also, um, just like we're doing a knit night tonight, we do monthly private um, coffee chats or stitch sessions. And there's really nothing better than that feeling of knitting and crocheting with friends. And we get together twice a month and we spend about an hour together each time, connecting, um, chatting about our projects. We talk about different yarn. We share tips and tricks. Um, just at this past one, we talked about all kinds of things. We talked about 
um, what to do if you have moths. <laughs> we talked about um, different fiber festivals. We've talked about different um, local yarn shops. We've talked about um, lots of different things. Um, and that was just, you know, kind of in the one we've, we've talked about and shared different recipes, um, cooking for, you know, people with special diets, you know, gluten-free or, um, allergies, things like that. Um, and just really life in general, we've celebrated the births of, um, a, a grandchild, um, and we've celebrated the birth of, um, I think she is a great niece, Sylvia, <laughs> um, little Tallulah. <laughs> And so we share what we've been up to. We talk about whatever comes to mind. These are really casual, comfortable conversations. Um, they're not recorded since they're an opportunity for us to connect authentically. And you're welcome to join with the camera on, with your camera off, whatever is most comfortable for you. There's never any pressure to, you know, to turn your camera on. Um, and so that is um, a $20 per month value. You also get priority pattern support from me. So if you need help with one of my patterns, figuring out a different stitch, stitch technique, Stitch Society members get concierge level support and access to an ever-growing stitch and technique library to rescue you when you get stuck. And that would be a $15 a month value. I was um, selling that separately. We also have Fiber Friends interviews and events. And that's usually about once a month, we get to know some of the kindest, most amazing members of the fiber community through exclusive member only interviews and events. And they'll share their own favorite tips and tricks, share first looks at new goodies. We've talked to um, my favorite stitch um, accessory or notions. Um, she owns Twice Shared Sheep. She came to us to hang out. We talked to um, Carrie, who uh, owns um, The Spinning Hand. And so she sells yarn and also um, knitting subscription boxes and learn to knit boxes. And we've talked to the wonderful folks at Eagle Bend Alpaca Farm. And they talked about what life is like on an alpaca farm. And they just have two new babies. And I just have to get them on the calendar because they're coming back to talk to us about the baby alpacas, the Kriyas that were just born. Um, we've talked to, I have another, some other designers that have come. We talked to um, Emily from Wool and Pellet Yarn. And she taught us all about picking colors for your projects. And that was um, and superwash wool versus non-superwash wool. And so that was really um, very exciting for me to, to have that help. Um, we also talked about with Erin um, from Crafty Housewife Yarns and she sells um, spinning wheels and spinning fiber. And we talked a lot about that. And we have upcoming events, including um, chatting with a, a knitter, um, a knit design friend who has lost a little bit of her love for knitting. So when knitting, knit design is your career and now you don't have that mojo. So we're going to talk about how she's coped with that and how she's learning how to approach that. And we also, my Stitch Society members don't know this yet, but the fabulous Irina Shar from Fiber Chats will be joining us. And she has interviewed many of um, the most recognizable names in the fiber world and me. <laughs> uh, and that'll be airing in November. And I'll make sure to share that um, via email with you all when that is live. And what else? What other comments do we have here? Um, and Debbie shared loves this group. And Jan said, I and four of my friends started Skype knitting when the pandemic canceled our larger group. Now, because two of us are winter visitors to Tucson, we still we still Skype every other week. That's so wonderful, Jan. Those connections are great. Um, hello from Canada and your co-admin. Um, so that is Mary Ann joining us. So I'm so glad you're here, Mary Ann. And another from Canada. And we have someone who knit better, knits better with wine. Her tension is better. And Anna shared, great, I would love to visit their farm in Kentucky. That's Eagle Bend Alpaca Farm that Anna is um, talking about there. All right. So what else is included? So we have um, future mini workshops are included. So occasionally I, um, I run paid programs, um, which are about 
an hour and a half to two hours, a real deep dive on a specific topic. So similar to this mosaic knitting, but I've done um, kind of more in depth and with lace um, and with cables and lots of tips and tricks and patterns and other bonuses that go with those. So those are deep dives designed to further enhance your skills. And if you loved this mosaic challenge, then you'll love what comes next. As a member, you also get um, member only voting power. So you'll have your say and contribute towards my design process. You'll have opportunities to share your input into my design process, vote in polls about upcoming designs. You'll get behind the scenes sneak peeks and previews as I create new patterns. You get early access to pattern tester calls for my knit and crochet patterns, which is never an obligation and only just an option. Um, I, when I'm looking for testers, members get um, first option. And there's also an exclusive members only Facebook community group, just so that you have a small tight knit group um, of people that you have connected with and you can um, get to know them better, connect with them even more. That's a private group um, just for the Stitch Society members. And that's not all. <laughs> so you also get um, two mini workshops as bonuses. Like I mentioned, um, the Beginner's Guide to Lace Knitting and Conquer Cable Knitting. And I'll tell you a little bit about those. So the Beginner's Guide to Lace Knitting, that's a workshop that um, was $37 when I taught it. And the Beginner's Guide to Lace Knitting will help you discover the basic stitches that are used to create elegant lace knitting. You'll get to understand lace knitting charts and symbols. And you'll learn how to decode a knitting chart so that you don't have to work from pages and pages of written instructions or learn a secret language. I share the best cast on methods to use for lace so your edge stretches with your lace stitches. And I teach you how to read your stitches so you can easily find where you are in a pattern even when there are distractions. Sometimes those are, you know, young children, our children or children that we watch. Um, sometimes it's a husband, sometimes it's a phone call, uh, someone at the door and you put your work down and you can't figure out where you are in your pattern. And so I go over um, tips and tricks to help you with that. And the simplest ways to keep your place across a row of lace knitting, even when you keep getting interrupted. Um, my best tips and tricks for fixing lace mistakes so you don't have to frog or undo hours of work, including missing yarn overs. How many of you have dropped a yarn over <laughs> and you're working lace and that messes up your whole pattern? And I talk about how to use lifelines and why you need them. And this part will save you so much stress, so much stress. And I talk about how to block your knitting and why you should. And I show you the difference. If you've ever knit um, something that, especially lace or other things with um, increases in a chart, you may have seen those little gray no stitch boxes. And I'll explain everything about them so they finally make sense. And that is one of the most commonly asked questions I've seen in knitting groups um, is what do those gray boxes mean? And how do I do a no stitch? So I'll explain what that all means. Um, hint, no stitch is no stitch, you do nothing. <laughs> um, we'll walk through the reading of a charted pattern stitch by stitch so that you see exactly how it all works together. Just like I did with the mosaic chart where I showed you stitch by stitch. And I'll share my complete stitch by stitch tutorial of my Tudor Lace cowl pattern. So you'll get that pattern for free so that you can knit your own and you'll have access to the tutorials so you can watch and rewatch it as many times as you need. And Donna shares, I make more creative stitch modifications with wine, but this does not stop me. <laughs> I love how you phrase that, creative stitch modifications. And so that is the Beginner's Guide to Lace Knitting. Um, like I said, it was $37 when I taught it, but it is um, free. It is included for members. And also another workshop, the Conquer Cable Knitting Workshop. And in that workshop, again, the same $37 value um, is also a bonus that's included when you join the Stitch Society. So the Conquer Cable Knitting Workshop will help you understand the basics of cable knitting so you can conquer this skill even if you've never tried it before. And you'll watch as I teach you how to fix mistakes so you don't have to frog or undo 
hours of work, including, and this is a big one, friends, cables that zigged instead of zagged. So if you've got a cable that's supposed to cross to the left every time, all of a sudden it crosses to the right. I'll teach you how to, you can fix those cables so you don't have to undo rows and rows of work. And you'll master how to count rows between cables so you can stay on track as you are knitting. Because sometimes, you know, you have to cross your cables every six rows and then you get distracted or you put your work down. And did you knit six rows or four rows or eight rows? And so I'll teach you how um, to count the rows between your cables. And you'll follow along as I show you the secret to knitting. And this is my favorite part of the whole workshop, reversible cables, so that both sides of your cable projects can shine. You'll learn how to decode a cable knitting chart so you don't have to work from pages of written instructions. Um, and we'll talk about different cable knitting tools because there are so many different choices. And we will talk about um, my best tips and tricks for tidy cables. So sometimes you knit cables and the stitches are a little bit loose um, and I'll teach you how to fix that. And we'll walk through reading a cable chart and a bonus that's included in the bonus. <laughs> so a bonus bonus, you'll learn how to knit cables without a cable needle so that you can impress all of your friends at knit night and knit in the car without worrying about dropping your cable needle between the seats. Um, and I'll also talk about another bonus to the bonus, discover how to add cables to your own creations. I'll share some gui easy guidelines to keep in mind. And you'll also, that pink um, in the background of that screen, that's my reversibility cowl. So you'll also get that cowl um, and it comes in different sizes. And so you can practice what you've learned and learn to knit your own reversible cables. And um, Kathy says, I have those. <laughs> yes, you do, Kathy. Um, so Kathy has both of those workshops as a Stitch Society member. And then if that wasn't enough, um, there's an early bird bonus. So this is a bonus until tomorrow um, at three o'clock. So this was mentioned in the email, but you still have just over um, a full day to take advantage of it. There's a class that I taught um, for my members and also for the Making app. And I don't know if any of you are familiar with um, that app and they offer classes. So I also taught it for my members as a bonus for them. And joining um, before tomorrow at three o'clock Eastern, you'll also get um, access to my Oops Fix Your Mistakes workshop for free when you join before it expires. Um, and that bonus is actually a $50 workshop that I had offered because it was a longer workshop. Um, one of the most working in a yarn shop, one of the most common things that people came in for was sort of like a knit doctor help, which is that they dropped a stitch or they lost their place or they have no idea where they are in their pattern. They did a, a slip slip knit instead of a knit two together, um, fixing cables. So all of that is, um, is part of this workshop. So I'll show you how to fix the most common mistakes that we all make when knitting. Sorry, just a quick drink. Um, so errors in patterning. How many times have you made a knit, but it should have been a purl or vice versa? Um, drop stitches that unravel all the way down. Missing yarn overs. Have you ever made an accidental yarn over? Have you missed a decrease or an increase? You'll save so much time, hours and hours of time spent undoing and redoing your work. You'll be able to finish your projects instead of tossing them in what I call the timeout corner. Um, or let's face it, some of us might have a timeout bin. Raise your hand, let me know in the comments. Do you have a timeout corner or a timeout bin? Maybe it's a basket. Where do you put those projects that you made a mistake and you just don't know how to fix it? I'd love to hear what you call it. So learning to fix your own mistakes is so empowering and I can't wait to teach you how. It really is one of the biggest things that has helped my own knitting progress because I've been able to not to, to take on different patterns and techniques without fear, without being intimidated, because if I made a mistake, I knew how to fix it. And so it's really such um, such a great thing to, to, to uh, do. Um. 
We have someone asked, will you be doing a quick review of what you are offering with this society? I joined late here. So absolutely, um, I'll go over that. I'll, I'll talk through it and then I'll go over that again at the end. And then there is also, um, let me find that link for you. Society. I may have to make a link for you. <laughs> Do I have it? All right, I'm going to make a banner for you right now so that I can um, tell you what the link is. But it is doublethestitches.com slash stitch society. Okay, so that has an extra D. <laughs> Let's fix that. One D. <laughs> All right, so it's doublethestitches.com slash stitch society, and that has all of the details. I didn't even get into everything um, here because I didn't want um, us to be here forever, <laughs> um, but it's jam-packed with so many things, and I will go over um, everything at the end also for anyone who joined us late. So as I built the membership, and this only started um, last winter, last December, I think is when we very did the very first um, founding member launch. So as I've built the membership over time, I realized that we needed a classroom of sorts and we needed a place to keep everything all together. So I built what I, I call our membership classroom or our membership hub. And it's a place where you can find all the dates for our upcoming events, have access to my stitch and technique library, where you can request pattern support. Of course, you can also always reach out and email me, um, view recordings, of the Fiber Friends interviews and more. Um, and so that's all within um, the library. And so this is a little bit of um, kind of an overview. Um, so let's take a minute and look at all of that again, because I know I did a, I've done a lot of talking, um, but I think it helps to kind of see it all together. So all of the benefits combined add up to over $70 of value every single month. And let's do um, some quick math. That is just over $875 of value in a year of membership. So you might be wondering, how much is this going to cost? And I just want to say, I've got you, my friends. So the current um, new member pricing um, was set at $27 per month or $270 per year. Now, when we compare that to $875 a year, that's already a great bargain, right? <laughs> um, but I can do better than that for you. <laughs> um, here we go. So special pricing for you all for joining me um, is less than 50 cents a day when you join for a year. So it's $18 per month or $180 per year. And you can pay either way. Um, the, the checkout page gives you both options. So you can pick whichever one, um, however you would prefer, whatever fits better into your life. So if you do um, the $180 per year, then that works out to be, so you get two months for free when you do that. And some quick math. So then it is $15 a month. Um, and I should have been able to do that in my head, but don't tell my kids. <laughs> um, and oh, so I was going to actually talk about what was there. Sorry, let's go back, friends. So you get a pattern every month, and that's an eight dollar value. And you get the two monthly private coffee chats, and that would be twenty dollars per month if I was hosting and um, charging for attendance. And if it was um, a priority pattern support. So anytime you need me, I'm here to help you, to support you. Um, I have a story that I'm going to email out. So look for that email. I've got um, two stories, actually, I'm going to share with you all. Um, and this wasn't even helping with my own personal patterns. Um, but our members needed help with something, and it was my pleasure to, to walk them through it. And you get access to the Fiber Friends interviews and events. So you can join those live. You can ask um, the guests questions if you have them. And those are also recorded. So if you can't make it, because some of those are um, during the day, 
those are always recorded and you're welcome to send questions to me if you have a question you'd like to ask them and I'm happy to ask on your behalf so that they can um, answer your question and you get the stitch and technique library which I would um, would be ten dollars per month so all of that added up um, is seventy three dollars per month and you also get like I said um, the two bonuses the um, the, the two thirty seven dollar bonuses that is the um, the Beginner's Guide to Lace Knitting Workshop and the Conquer Cable Knitting Workshop. Those are included um, as long as you join before the cart closes on Sunday. If you want the third workshop, which was the Oops, Fix Your Mistakes Workshop, that's a $50 value. And that bonus goes away um, at the end of um, at 3, three o'clock Eastern um, tomorrow. Um, the other thing that's going to go into the um, Stitch and Technique Library is all the trainings that I've done here for the mosaic knitting. So those will go into the uh, the library on Monday. So if you there's something you wanted to watch, make sure that you watch that. So that'll be in there for you too. So members will have access to watch and rewatch um, that as needed. So I had someone say to me, <laughs> holy cow, that's a lot of stuff for just $18, just 18 for real. So I wanted to also invite you to join me um, on a Saturday afternoon. We're going to have um, a Zoom. And since I strongly believe that everyone here is a winner, just look at how far you've come in just a few days. We only just started on Monday and it's Thursday. And some of you are comfortably and confidently knitting your mosaic patterns. I think most of you are. I haven't had a lot of questions. Just a couple of clarifications, which absolutely makes sense. So on Saturday afternoon, um, we're going to do a, a Q&A. So you can ask me questions about mosaic knitting or anything else. Um, ask questions about the membership. And I'll go over um, kind of the most frequently asked questions that I've received. That will also be when we do the prize drawings for sharing your photos. I keep encouraging you to share your photos um, in the group. And so that will be on Saturday and I will share that in an email with the winners. So if you've shared a photo, but you can't make it to the prize drawing, that's okay. Um, you don't need to be there to win from the challenge. But I do have something special for those of you who do um, join me on Saturday you'll also receive a free pattern as a thank you just for joining me for this challenge, for joining me on Saturday, for coming and showing up and, and being there to, um, to chat with me. Plus, and this is um, a secret my Stitch Society members don't know about yet, um, I have a surprise planned for everyone who's an active Stitch Society member in December. So current members don't know about it yet, um, but I'm going to talk about that on um, Saturday during, and that will be on Zoom so that we can connect again. So we'll be on Zoom tonight. We will be, um, I think we're just on Facebook Live like this on Friday. On Saturday, we'll be on Zoom again, and those links will be in your email. Um, so just always search. If you can't find my emails, then you can just search for, I'll put that, in um, the mosaic challenge, here we go. So all of the emails have this mosaic challenge in them in the, the beginning of the subject. So if you search your email inbox for mosaic challenge, then um, all of the emails should hopefully show up. Can't make promises, but I hope so. All right, so that is um, the basics of um, what is involved in the membership, what is included in the membership. So if you are ready to say yes, um, you can head over to doublethestitches.com slash stitch society, and that will bring up a whole page. Um, and I'll share that link in the videos as well in the comments in the Facebook group. Um, you can learn even more detail about what's included and um, the link, the information to sign up is at the bottom of that page. You can pick however is better for you um, to make payments, whether it's monthly or annually, and all of that is there for you. Um, and since we had some friends joining us late, I'm just going to go over one more time um, just a little bit about what is um, involved. Oh, I didn't share this with you yet. I'm going to share this. So one of, I love to spoil you. You hear me say that all the time, 
my Stitch Society members get all the spoiling. Um, so one of the things that they got as um, a bonus when they had previously joined as a gift from me, I sent them um, notions pouches or project bags. Um, so they're little zippered pouches and they're a really nice size. So like, you know, one ball of yarn and a project in progress um, should fit in there too, or just all of your notions and you toss that in your project bag. And this has been my saying um, as I've built the membership that friends don't let friends stitch alone, whether that's knitting or crocheting. Um, I really want to build this and have built and would like to continue building um, this true sense of community and companionship and friends that understand our passion with, for our crafts. So um, that was the pouch that went to uh, Sunny. She was nice enough to share a picture. All right, so what's included? I'm just gonna talk about that quickly again. Um, so every month you get a pattern from me um, and that is an $8 value. So it is most of the time a brand new pattern. If there's one from my collection and I have 40 patterns published, um, you can pick one of the ones from my collection. If there's something else that you would like to knit instead, just reach out to me uh, and I'm happy to set that up for you. The monthly private coffee chats. And I try to alternate the days and the time so that more people have the opportunity to join us. And we do that twice a month. And those are on Zoom and you can um, keep your camera off or your sound off, if you, your microphone off if you prefer. But I really encourage you to, um, to get the most out of it to, you know, kind of join us. They're not recorded so you don't have to worry about anyone seeing what you say or, um, you know, what your comfy pajamas look like. Um, and you get priority pattern support from me. So whether that is um, one of my own patterns or figuring out a stitch or a technique you get concierge level support and access to my ever growing stitch and technique library to rescue you when you're stuck. And I invite usually about once a month, one of um, what I call fiber friends. So some of the kindest, most amazing members of the fiber community through exclusive member only interviews and events. They'll share their tips and their tricks and first looks at new goodies. We got to see um, Dawn from Twice Shared Sheep shared her cable needles before they were even on the website to buy. And she was always coming up with great stuff. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with her. Um, and we've gotten to know a luxury subscription box owner. We learned about spinning yarn and spinning wheels and fiber. We had early access to a sneak peek of something um, uh, my favorite alpaca farm in Kentucky, Eagle Bend Alpaca Farm, had a subscription box that they started with yarn from their um, their herd. And so they shared that with us. And we learned about how to pick colors for your project. Sometimes that can be the hardest thing, picking colors that go together and different combinations. And so we had a wonderful indie dyer, um, Emily from Wool and Pellet, shared a lot about that with us. And she talked about um, the benefits of using non-superwash yarn versus superwash yarn and why that's what she's picked for her yarns. Um, and upcoming events include chatting with a friend who's also a designer who's lost a bit of her love for knitting and how that's affected her and how she's approaching that. And the fabulous Irina Shar from Fiber Chats, who's interviewed every big name you can think of on her YouTube channel. If you haven't watched, take a look. Um, and she even interviewed me. <laughs> I felt so honored. And that'll be out in November. Um, and like we started to talk about the future mini workshops that are included. So you'll get the ones that have already happened. You'll get the lace and the cable workshops. And whenever I offer a paid workshop in the future, you'll also get um, a ticket to attend that at no additional cost. And member only voting power when I'm trying to decide if I'm, I'm I've had a knit sock in progress for a while and I voted, I asked the members what their preferences were so that I could design what they would love to knit. So do they like toe up or top down and what their favorite heels are? Um, and do they like lacy socks or simple socks, um, you know, vanilla socks or cables or, you know, things. So they shared their input with me and that is something I've used as I've developed um, working on this pattern. And an exclusive private members only community group is another bonus on Facebook. And um, let me see if anyone has any questions for me. Um, all right, so no questions that I see. So I want to make sure 
let me remove that. So if you have any questions for me, um, please reach out. If you're having trouble with um, anything with the mosaic knitting, I can always be reached. My email address is hello at double the stitches.com. And Jan asked a question, what times are the Zooms for the Stitch Society? So I tend to alternate those um, because we have members with who, who are at different points in their lives. So some that you know work during the day, some that are very active with all of their crafts, some that, um, so you know, they may be at Hi Silly, a beading group <laughs> or a quilting group or um, have other groups that they're part of, other hobbies that they they participate in. So typically, um, I since I do two a month, so one is most often, um, is a lot of times I do one on the weekends, so either a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon um, around two o'clock or so um, Eastern so that we wrap up before, um, before dinner. And so that it is not too early for anyone um, on, on the West Coast um, because I don't want to do something at 10 o'clock in the morning and then... Um, that then our friends um, in Washington State that are members, um, where it would be hard for them to join. Um, and we have um, other people with other friends with questions. Is this okay for UK people to join? Absolutely, I'd love to have you. Um, oh, I didn't finish. I'm sorry, I didn't. I got. I saw the questions and I didn't finish answering the questions. So a lot of times I'll do one on the weekend that is um, around two o'clock Eastern time on a Saturday or Sunday. And then I alternate the ones. Um, I try to always have like a weeknight evening, usually around 730 Eastern for the most part. Um, tonight's Zoom is at seven. So I, I want to just clarify that so that um, we don't mix that up. But the Zooms for um, the, the Stitch Sessions, the coffee chats for the Stitch Society are usually around 7.30 um, during the week. And those, the days of the week kind of alternate. And um, yes, and sometimes I'll do during the day. We do have some um, members who either um, don't work or work from home. I know Kathy has to go back to work and she's sad, I think. <laughs> um, so she joins us a lot during the day. Um, and so I try to keep it, you know, even and fair so that um, different members can join us at different times. Um, okay, so is it okay for you people, UK people to join? You're absolutely welcome um, to join. When you check out, if you run into an issue with that for some reason, let me know. But the payment is through PayPal, is the processor for it. Um, so you shouldn't, you shouldn't have a problem, but if you have trouble, let me know and, um, and we will reach out. Um, I will reach out to help you with that. Um, will a transcript of this be available? Um, maybe, <laughs> um, there is all of the information is on the Stitch Society website. Um, and I'll share that link again. Um, if I can find that banner that I just created for you all. Okay. Um, so all of the information is on there. If I can make a transcript of um, the speaking, you know, what I said available, then I certainly will do that. But um, everything that I shared, um, all of those details are also on, um, on the website. And... Uh, what else? So we have a question from Elizabeth. She said, has Clue 3 been sent yet? Yes, Clue 3 went out this morning. If you can't find the email, you can try searching for um, Mosaic Challenge in your inbox. And if, um, if you can't find it, but you have um, the previous emails with Clue 2 or Clue 1, if you click on the link to the, the folder, the I think it's gold. Click on the gold link and that will bring you to the folder and you'll be able to find the clue in there because I put them all in the same folder. And Donna said, for the society, are all meetings recorded in case we are unable to attend the monthly Zoom calls? So I had to make a choice when I was setting things up for the Stitch Society. And the choice that I made 
was that the Fiber Friends interviews, that's where I bring in a special guest to um, to chat with and talk to. Those are recorded and those are available to watch anytime that you want. The other things that are recorded, if I do a training um, like this or something different, those are also recorded. So you can always watch that type of stuff on, um, on repeat, really. Um, the things that are not recorded, and I did this with intent, was that the the coffee chat, the Zooms, the stitch sessions, those are not recorded because sometimes you just want to share what's going on um, personally in your life and you don't want, um, you want to be real, you want to be honest, you want to be authentic with where you are in life. Um, it's sometimes, if it's recorded, we sometimes tend to censor ourselves. And so I didn't want you to feel like you needed to censor yourself. And so those um, are not recorded so that we can connect um, without worrying about who's seeing it. Um, and Val asked, are the Zooms taped for us to watch at a different time? My knitting group has them taped and we can watch it taped for one week. Um, I can take a vote within um, the membership once um, we close cart before we do our next one and see, you know, what members feel if they'd like them um, to be recorded and to be able to be rewatched. I'm okay with that. Um, but that was when I had to set things up and, you know, make plans. That was my feeling was that it would be nice if those were not recorded. So I'm going to, I'll pull the members once um, we close cart on Sunday and see what everyone feels. And if there is, um, you know, if people, if no one has a big opposition and most people would prefer for them to be recorded, then um, that is something that we could do. And then they would be available for maybe a short time, like you suggested, Val, for a week. And Elizabeth said, can't use PayPal. Is there another option? Um, I'm going to look into that for you. Um, and I will reach out to you. I'm going to write your name down so that I make sure that I know who to reach out to. Um, so I will do that when we get off the call and see if I can make that happen for you. Um, I don't know if it's a specific thing with PayPal, but I know that um, you don't need a PayPal account. Um, that it does process cards, credit cards without an account you can check out as a guest. But if, um, if you specifically can't use PayPal, then um, I will see what I can come up with for you. Um, PayPal. All right. So I'm going to look into that. I've got my note, um, to look into that. So, um, this is the, the website to join. If you have more questions about the mosaic challenge, definitely reach out to me. I am here to help. Like I mentioned, these recordings, these will be available in both groups to watch the double the stitches patterns group, the big one, um, and the mosaic slip stitch knitting group. These will be, um, available and I'll send out an email with links to all of them for you and a post with all of the links to all of the videos so that if you missed one and you'd like to watch it then you can watch it um, and then on Monday those are going into the Stitch Society um, Stitch and Technique Library so that members have access to them to watch them as, as often but at this point if you have been knitting along with us um, and this way you have the whole weekend to catch up too, because I know during the week it can be busy for some. Um, and yes, so you have the whole weekend to catch up um, and then those will go into um, the Stitch Society library. And Val says, I don't know how to use PayPal. Is Visa okay to use? Um, so let me just see if I can show you something. Um, hang tight one second, friends. Okay, so Let me share a different tab and let's see if I can um, show you this. So I can hide that comment, share my screen, and we will see. <laughs> there we go. 
All right, so this is um, that link that I shared. Um, going, sorry if that makes you guys, if it makes you dizzy. Um, this is the double the stitches.com slash stitch society. And so this walks you through um, a lot of what I was thinking as I was creating it and who was I really creating it for um, and more information. Um, a lot of what I shared, but maybe some more details, um, the different things, the workshops that you get, the early bird bonus that goes away to, um, tomorrow at three o'clock Eastern. Um, whoops. And it brings you all the way down. Um, I'm sorry. I want to go back up. I clicked something I shouldn't have. All right. So this was the early bird, um, oops, fix your mistakes workshop, which was a $50 value. Um, and of, like I said, someone said, holy cow, that's a lot of stuff for just $18. Um, this is a little bit about me. Um, and you can read some thoughts from some of our current members and what they have thought about. Um, and I'll just share two of them while we're here. So Jen said, Jessica gives us the resources to excel in our fiber journey, beautiful knitters to share with and a small community. Plus you get a pattern to add to your ever growing stash. I highly recommend it. Um, and this was Sunny said, Jessica is one of the sweetest people I know, full of great information, encouragement, tips, patterns, and resources. I love being a part of this group. It's so special. Um, and then I also added, these are some examples of patterns that um, have been recently. I keep hitting, I'm sorry. <laughs> so these are some examples of patterns that you can receive as a Stitch Society membership. Um, so this was my Peridot Cowl, the Alexander Cable Beanie. This is the Reversible Cable Cowl. Do you see, um, if you can see inside the cowl on the reverse side, it matches. It's not that ugly back of cables. And I'll teach you how to do that. Um, this was my Coterie Shawl, which was my long, uh, local Yarn Shop Day um, project. Um, this was, um, I can't remember the name of that pattern, my goodness. Um, and this was the Tinoke bib. And this was a pattern designed for Eagle Bend Alpaca Farm. Um, and ready to join. Um, so this was the pricing information, some frequently asked questions. And then down here at the bottom of the page is how you would join. If you have questions, reach out to me. That's my email address. I wanted to make sure you have it handy. And then you'd fill in your contact information. You would pick um, either the $18 a month for the monthly or the annual, which is um, the $180 a year. So that's $15 a month. So you're getting two months for free, or you can look at it as you're saving $3 a month um, every month. Um, this tells you what you would pay today and what the future payments would be. And then these are the different cards. So um, I think it was Val had asked about Visa. So that is one of the options. So when you click the button that says yes, I want to join the Stitch Society. It's probably gonna log me into my PayPal account. Um, so because I'm logged in, it won't let me show you. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, that did not work as planned. So you, um, so you would click on the link and you should be able to check out as a guest. I'm gonna see if I can um, grab a screenshot with when I've logged out of PayPal and see if that um, can walk you through that. So if you have questions about anything at all, reach out to me, whether it's the challenge or anything else. Um, and I hope to see you tonight at seven o'clock. The email this morning had the link um, to join me on Zoom. So we're not gonna be public on Facebook. We're gonna be private just on Zoom. Um, and about an hour before, so it's six o'clock Eastern, I'm going to send you a reminder email and that will also have the zoom link. So I hope that, um, that you'll all join me. It's going to be fun. It's going to be relaxing. Um, ask me questions if you have questions for me and, um, and we'll just knit along together. If knitting while watching something is stressful for you, then please come for the company. You don't have to work on a project as um, as we're knitting together. 
I'll be honest, a lot of times during our um, our Zooms, I don't personally knit because I'm having so much fun talking to you all. And so I don't always knit, but you're welcome to knit or crochet. Um, and if you're in either of the groups and you'd like to join us, um, you can sign up for the challenge emails. If you do that before six o'clock Eastern, then you'll get the, um, the link to join. Um, and if you need me, reach out and I will um, help you. So double the stitches.com slash challenge will get you um, signed up on the email list. So if you have questions, reach out to me. I'm here to help you. And I can't wait to share the final part of the pattern with you all tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, and you'll get a Ravelry code. You can add that to your Ravelry account too. All right. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you um, at 7 o'clock Eastern in just a few hours. Take care.